Hello everyone. I would like to take you to a place called Tandale Ward, a low-income set settlement located in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. This is where Amina lives. She is 16 years old. Although her family is very poor, they somehow managed to pay for this for her school fees so that Amina can attend school. But her family doesn't have enough money for the bus fare. On the first day of a new school year, Amina begins to walk the five kilometers to school and daydreams. If I can become a teacher, if I can finish my studies, graduate and get a job, I'll be able to help my family. Suddenly she hears the beeping of a horn and a motorcycle pulls up next to her. Hey cutie, wanna ride? John is a border border guy. He is black, tall, 25 years old. For the next four days, he gives Amina lift to school for free. On Friday, John says, Amina, you are too beautiful to have all these difficulties getting to school. I can take you to school, but you have to be my girlfriend and cooperate. Amina understood what cooperate meant, that this right to school, her one chance to get out of Tandale Ward, will cost her her virginity, shame, and worst of all, she could become pregnant. Never finish school, never becomes a teacher, never get out of poverty. At home that night, Amina lies awake in bed and she feels scared and confused. She hears the sound of a hungry baby crying and suddenly she decides, I am going to do this but I can't get pregnant. The next Monday, John drops her off at school. She watches him drive away on his motorcycle, leaving behind a cloud of dust. But instead of going into the school, she goes into town. She's wearing a school uniform and clutching a piece of paper with an address of an adolescent friendly health center. The paper has become wet, the ink a bit smeared from her sweating hands. Amina is so anxious that her stomach is aching. She sees the center up ahead and stops. What if my mother finds out that I came here? She remembers her dream and crosses the street. As she opens the gate, Mr. Tambi, the health center's office security guard, yells over her in an intimidating voice. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in school? Get away from here and go to school. Amina stops. Her heart is pounding so loud that she can hear it. She looks down at the ground, feeling the heat of shame. As she, and as she walks out towards the exit, she feels hopeless and defeated. I am Fortunata Mosen and I work as a project officer at Young Women Christian Association of Tanzania. Our organization mission is to develop leadership and collective power among women and girls in Tanzania. We hear stories like Amina's every day and dozen of surprises. It's reported one third of these youth-friendly centers are not welcoming, understanding and supportive of their clients that are there to serve the young people. The young people also lack the knowledge of their rights and the confidence to advocate for themselves. As a result, more sexual transmitted diseases, more unwanted teenage pregnancies, and the young people are caught up in this hopeless situation. Together with YWCA, we wanted to change the situation. We wanted to advocate for more funding at a regional and world level and all the way down to better trained health staff like Mr. Tambi. To tell you the truth, at first I wasn't sure or confident enough that I could make a difference or change, but with DSW support, I realized I can do smart advocacy I can even write advocacy proposals. On behalf of YWCA and the youth of Magomeni and Tandale, we would like to say thank you to DSW with their support. We are now aware and realize that there are solutions to improve the lives of young people and I, Fortunata, can advocate for them. So you're probably wondering what happened to Amina. When Amina turns to walk away, likely my colleague Jane calls to her Hello, Unenda Wapi. And Amina said to her, 
Naitaji Huduma Rafiki. Amina was well informed and received the services. She was also empowered to focus on her studies and end sexual relationship with John. And Amina is now pursuing her A-level studies to become a teacher. I asked Amina if I could tell her story today and she said it can make a person better understand. I should tell her story.